Monday Morning Racer was at Just Send It No Prep Drag Racing at Beaver Springs Dragway in Beaver Springs, Pennsylvania, and the racing action was stellar. That's next on Monday Morning Racer.
Monday morning racer here in the staging lanes right before Big Tire goes out in this great no prep event. Caught up with Lee John Honey. He's got this brand new Camaro of his. It's a beautiful car. First no prep event. Tell me, man, how do you feel about this car under no prep situations? I feel good with it. Um, be the first time out since it's been crashed. Um, I'm going to race Boris Rohoff. Um, we're going to see how we can do. Yeah, the matchups with like the import and the domestics, the traditional versus kind of new school. How do you feel about it? What do you think your chances are against a car like that? Well, I beat him once before. We'll see if we can do it again. See if you can do it again. Yep. All right, man. Hope you go rounds today and hope this car performs great. Thank you. Thank you.
Matt Michella is one of our regular guys here at the Beef in the Deer Lake. Doesn't get any better than this. Michella and the Dark Mustang in the Deer Lake.
Matt, Who was right lane? Matt, 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 Monday morning racer. I'm in the winter circle here at Beaver Springs Dragway. We just wrapped up the no prep just send it event. We've got Bill Marks in front of me. He won the big tire pro class in his beautiful beautiful blue machine that he has got behind him. I'll let him explain more about that in just a few moments. Bill, well, tell me how long you been drag racing? Oh boy, probably 30 years now. 30 years. Now, I'm not. I'm sure it's not in this car, but what was your first car that you started out with? Actually, I've owned this car for almost 35 years. So this, this car, I, I had a Camaro before this, but this has been the main car right here. So this main car that's behind you right now that you just went out and win one with, tell me about it. Beautiful machine. Tell everybody on the camera, though, what it is. It's a 70 Olds 442. It is a Pro Charge big block Chevy built by Andy Jensen. Does have a chrome molly chassis. It was built by Bob Coker of Coker's Chassis. And it is a five speed car, so it is a stick shift. I leave off a clutch and I shift the car. There's no air shifters, it is all driving the car. Amazing with a machine like this and in a no prep situation. Tell me. With a machine like this, why is no prep appealing? Why run one type one one of these events? Hey, it's a uh, it's it's just a crazy thing to do. It's it's a lot of fun, really a lot of fun. For the fun and the pure craziness of it, definitely. Yeah. That's why we're in drag racing anyway. Absolutely, Bill. Man, congratulations. Look forward to seeing you win many more. Your winner here in the Pro Tire Big Class. Thanks a lot. Greatly appreciate it. Monday morning race here in the staging lanes. Andrew Nelson's about to go out here for a final. Look, man, you got Eddie. You're going up against Eddie's been tough lately, winning a lot of, a lot of races. What do you think your chances are? I think it's 50-50 right at the moment. 50-50. <laughs> Look, man, go get them. <laughs>
Monday Morning Racer here in the Beaver Springs Dragway Winner's Circle, and we've caught up with Eddie and Andrea Grimes. Y'all had a pretty fabulous day, but not only have you had a fabulous day, y'all have had a string of good races. Bring us up to date from the last no prep event here, how good of a run y'all have had. The last no prep, I'm sure you saw the video, we got a little wild in the first round with Noah Stein and actually clipped his front end with my tail light, but we were out on him. So that put us out first round. So made some changes since then. Yeah, you know, we went to the first Midnight Madness that they had back in the June. June, and we won that one. We've won, this makes our seventh event that we've won out of eight, and the only reason we didn't win eight is I deep bumped at Moran and DQ'd myself on the starting line. You know, technically I won the race, I beat the car, but we didn't take home the money. You know, so we've just been pretty much leaving everything as a plateau for right now, having a fool with nothing, no, no reason to reinvent the wheel. Hey, if you include that last no prep event here, I mean, you're seven out of nine. That's pretty good numbers, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Andrea, I know you're in charge of the social media, and mm -hmm. you've got some pretty good social media out there, and I kind of count y'all as the first couple of no prep. So tell people, how can they follow you two on the social yeah, media platforms? So you can follow us on, on Facebook at Murder88, and we have an Instagram. It's Murder underscore 88. Great. Thank you. Now, today in the pro small tire class here. Tell me about it. You won, but each round, give me the lowdown on it. Well, first round, we put I uh, put a baby soft tune-up in it just to make sure we get down and see how the truck handled the track. Because I mean, even, even though it's a no prep, it's still sticky out there. And so se second round, my foot slipped off the pedal and I didn't get a good burnout. That's happened a couple times, actually. And uh, we smoked the tire second round, but was able to come around them and keep it together, but it got a little wild. And then in the final, I just put the kitchen sink in it and see if it'd take it. And it, it took it. It actually floated the front tire to the entire track, past the 330. I lifted about 100 foot early because it was starting to lift the whole front end up. So awesome. That was pretty interesting, and I've never had that happen on a no prep. Awesome. So you floated all the way to Vic, Vic, Winter, Winter Lane. There right. you go. Right. Well, guys, look. Congratulations, glad you're winning, glad you're doing so well, and we look forward to what Murder 88, Eddie, Andrea have got in store. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.